start of this whole movie is this lady totally gets smashed by this huge truck, right? But she doesn't care, so she hauls her top half back to the house. Amazing. It's a zombie pod. Why should she care? Oh, but the best thing is then she tells this kid, right? She's like, wrong. Why should anything be wrong? And my bloody legs are halfway down the street. Why should anything be wrong? <laughs> wow, what movie is this? Zombie pod slumber party massacre, I think. Or was it I was a sorority house cheerleader zombie pod? How come I never saw any of those? Because I watch all the good movies after you go to sleep. Then I'll watch them in the daytime. Uh, Harry, I don't think so. Even if you could stop Rose from playing her Olympic videos no. over and over and over I and over. I have to. I'm practicing dressage. Isn't dressage that silliness where you dress horses up in ribbons and make them skip? It's not silly. It's the most beautiful thing in the world. Second most beautiful. Sometimes. Just a few days a year, when the last piece of sun hides just behind the mountain, and the light hits the pond just right for a minute, far as the eye can see, everything turns to gold. When, Grandpa? When everything's right. Like now. That was real nice. Now it really better happen. It will. Where's Lee? Uh, getting dessert. Hey, Lee! Mom! I scream, you scream, we all scream, I I guess everyone starts out with pretty big dreams. Climbing the highest peak, winning the Olympics. But when you get older, it's the little dreams that keep you going. The promise of something just a little better somewhere up the road not taken. Unfortunately, the road not taken is sometimes closed for construction. the operation. So you're either Jeremy from Boston or Shannon from L.A. We're expecting both. I missed the Tri-County tractor pool. Bummer, but you know what? The cheese festival is just as fun. Cool. By yourself, right? Yeah. Dad, um, he wants me to get in touch with Mother Earth or the goddess, whatever. He says I'm spending too much time in my room, in my mind, being weird. Am I being weird? Pretty much. Thinking again, I kind of like weird. Yes, would you hold on just a minute? Mrs. Morris. Mrs. Morris. Oh, yes, we're looking forward to having your group. Can I go? No, I know. I know what you're going to say later. You. You're going to say... Walter, the heater and tumblers well, are still that making that in. sound. Well, I know that's what you're well, going to say. Just, stop I'm not it. Going Let's go. Mom. Around here. Uh, Mrs. Morris, my apologies. Um, I'm not I can schedule that for here. you right Mom. now. 
blower motor needs a new capacitor. All right. We'll Let's see go. you then. Come on. Okay. Come on. Time. The mail? Straight here. Duh. Let's go. Let's go. Yay, finally. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it all done. All right. All right. I don't want to listen to it. Just get in. Lee. What's this 5250 from uh, Lander's office supply? Fax modem. We need a fax modem? I wouldn't have requested it if we didn't. I know, honey. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get everything done, okay? I just don't have enough time. Keep touch the toes, and now a nice halt on the rail for me. Good. Haley, good to see you. Go in, please, and warm up your horse. Give it a 20-meter circle, nice okay. and slow. Not too hard with the brush now. Mr. Somebody Rose. bring a rake out here. Mr. Rose, yes. Yeah. Lee McKenna, Rose's mama called. Right. Okay. I'm sorry we missed the first two classes, but she has been practicing at home. That horse would need a lot of practice. He's a really well, fast learner. Well, let's see where you're at. They had a pony like that at my little sister's birthday party. Yeah, like Hey Pokey wears Tumby. Okay. I made the mistake of renting National Velvet. It's one of my favorites. And that's all she talks about. On this horse, it's very difficult to tell what level she's at. If she's serious about Rosanna, she should have a good horse. Oh, I didn't know they did a live album. It's bootleg, you know. I really don't listen to that. It's pretty CD stuff. Yeah, well, that's about all we get here on Planet Sand. Oh, can't be that bad. <laughs> I hear they got some new 30 yard sales down at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Fire up the pickup, sweet pea. Yeehaw! <laughs> How did someone like you get trapped in the middle of Idaho? To Oregon. Right. This is the new Andy One tour. Remember, the judges are looking at the whole picture, not just at the horse. Now, Rose, if you were on the outside of rail, please, you see, this is Thomas. Let us transition from the walk to the sitting truck. This is very good. Everybody look, you see the way she sits back. She keeps her hands low. What we are looking for is relaxation on the horse, but also some energy, yeah? Good. And now she comes down. This is very good. You see, this is Thomas. This is a dressage horse. Sit back behind the perpendicular. Good. Okay. And now, Rose, if you will take a 20-meter circle, please, in the middle. She has a good seat. You see the way she is in the horse. Okay. That's enough for today. Come on, bring her over. Remember. It is not the sport of dressage. It's the art of dressage. Thank you. That's all for today. This is McKenna. You can have your daughter back. Great. Tamison's the most beautiful horse I've ever seen. She's for sale. He's for sale, Mom. This is the kind of horse that can really bring out the best in a young rider. We're just not ready to make that kind of a commitment. Come. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Shannon. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lee. Lee, hi. We talked on the phone. Yeah, welcome to the Canada. Thanks. So you're from L.A.? Yeah. Felt better every mile I drove north. Go duck! What, are you U of O? <laughs> yeah. No way! <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> That's great. What year? Um, I never actually graduated. It's all right. You sure did okay for yourself? This is incredible. Yeah. Uh, 
that. It's kind of cool, though. Do you like doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hey, this is my brother, Brick. He's okay once you get to know him. Hey, greetings, Brother Brick. I would say welcome to McKenna, but it looks like you've already been. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you're ready to hit the river, there's some steelhead with your name on him. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Guess I missed something. Uh, look, Brick, this is my dad's fried idea, okay? I mean, we'll take a picture of me holding some Mondo trout or something. That way, Dad will have something for his mantle, and I have some chili. Okay. Fine. You want me to harsh your chillage? And everything will be transmitted digitally through your phone line to your computer. Mm. Shannon's in computer chips. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> News and TV, even first run movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. It's going to completely change our industry. Everything will be done online. Reservations, accounts, publicity. That looks really good. Thank you. Well, we're not doing too bad offline. Our business isn't exactly about technology. Well, the superhighway's not likely to run through here right away. <laughs> Might spook the forest critters. <laughs> yeah, well, I kind of hope it doesn't. Good for you. You're moving back? Yeah, I'm planning on it. I'm going to try to open a bed and breakfast. And I really don't think it'll be competition. You know, different clientele entirely. Practically non-existent. Jack doesn't think people come to the Cascades for croissants and feather beds. Well, that place up on 20 never even made it to the buzzer. Opened and closed almost before the paint dried on the sign. Well, maybe it was the wrong location or mismanaged. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm A lot of people get weak in the knees at the thought of an old-fashioned inn. And in a place like this. I just can't believe that you'd leave a job like yours to move up here. How's it coming? No, I think she's getting ready to purr. That's just what Guy used to say. He was so excited to get her out on the road. Yeah, well, she's going to be there. We were going to take her all the way down the coast highway. Just the two of us. Yeah, I remember. Rose really loves this dressage thing. I want her to have this, something of her own. Well, I have no objection to the lesson as long as she keeps up with her chores and her homework. She needs a horse, Jack. I know it's expensive, but Mr. Rhodes said that we could work out a deal. She's got a horse. She's got Rusty. Rusty's not a dressage horse. Well, he's going to have to do. We just don't have the money right now. No. I want to do this for my daughter, and I don't have the money now. I work 80 hours a week, and yet I don't have anything of my own. I wasn't aware you thought of this as a job. It's a family business. What we have, we all have together. But only you decide what we have. It was different when Guy was alive, because I was here for him. All of us pulling together was just a part of that. It didn't matter that I couldn't sign the checks. I didn't need to. I had Guy. So did I. Lee, I just carry on best way I know how. More than one person making financial decisions, things fall through the cracks. Well, it's Harry and Rose that are falling through them now. I want more for them. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about this another time. It's getting late. We got a big day tomorrow. I'm taking Shannon out to look at some properties tomorrow. Someone else will have to mind the store. Well, I'm sure we can find a way to handle it. It's a really good location. Yeah. Well, I don't know, Lee. The things that we've been seeing just aren't what I pictured. I mean, when people think of an Oregon bed and breakfast, it's porches and gables, or with big bay windows, and a place to sit and watch a storm come over the mountains. And hear Heathcliff calling to Kathy. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I know a place. It's a little bit out of town, and I have to get dinner in the oven.